Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our special webinar for this afternoon, Smart Homeschool Conference. We are now live on YouTube with our speaker, Ms. Kimberly Joanna Day Reed. For this afternoon, our topic would be on the introduction to independent homeschooling. So just to give you a glimpse or an introduction about our speaker, our speaker is a faculty member of St. Dominic College of Asia and currently taking her master's degree in the University of Santo Tomas. So without further ado, let us all welcome Ms. Kimberly Joanna Dairit, RPM. And so hello po, good afternoon. Kamusta po kayo dyan? So um, I'm Ms. Kim, I'm a faculty member and I want to talk to you about um, homeschooling. So since um, we are now in the new normal, we're try the education system is actually trying to um, innovate ways on how we can continue to learn without um, without harming our childrens um, or putting our childrens at risk. So one um, very good alternative is homeschooling. So our topic for today is parenting and the new normal. Is homeschooling the right choice for my child? So hopefully after this um, webinar, you'll be able to. Um, see the import, the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of homeschooling, and maybe this will help you decide on um choosing the right um alternative options or learning options for your child. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so what is homeschooling? So homeschooling is actually a progressive movement around the world and in our country. So it is actually a very viable alternative options and has been gaining popularity here in the Philippines. So we can mostly see homeschooling um, doon sa mga artista or mga influencers or mga celebrities na um, ito yung ginagamit sa mga anak nila. Uh, they, they tend to um, enroll in homeschooling rather than go um, sending them into traditional public or private school. So, um, since homeschooling is um, you learn inside your home, it's actually giving um, parents the opportunity to educate their children and be more hands-on in terms of the things that they want their children to learn. Okay. Um, so we have different types of, of, of homeschooling. So hindi lang siya pag sinabi natin homeschooling, um, we, give the, we give our child or we teach our child at school, at home rather. So it's very different when we say um, distant learning or online learning. So those two terms are sometimes used interchange interchangeably, but they are very much different from each other. So we have two types of homeschooling or two styles. So first is homeschooling with a provider. And then the next one is independent homeschooling. So for homeschooling with a provider, um, when we say a provider, it means we have an organization that we um, ask for help. So we enroll our child in homeschooling with a provider. These providers are DepEd accredited providers, meaning to say they are recognized by DepEd. They have the proper permits. They have um, the documentation that you need, just like in the um, traditional public and private school system. However, um, the, the primary um, teacher or the primary um the primary mode of teaching is will be based on the parents so kayo po ang magtuturo sa mga bata at ang mga provider natin magbibigay sila sa inyo ng curriculum so ano po ba yung curriculum etong curriculum na to ito yung mga gagawin natin ito yung mga list of topics and list of activities that we will give to our children very much the same when we um enroll them in um, private in the traditional school setting. Ang pagkakaiba lang po sa homeschooling with the provider, andoon tayo sa bahay. Okay? The next one is independent homeschoolers. Homeschooling. So, independent homeschoolers are those who choose or who choose not to enroll to a homeschool provider. So, meaning to say, um, ito yung much mas flexible na ginagawa sa homeschooling. So, the parents can actually have the freedom to devise or to create their own curriculum with, whether um, whenever they see fit. Um, in these two styles of homeschooling, we have to consider the end point. Ano po ba yung end point natin in terms of um, giving our child basic education? Diba ang end point natin is for them to go to college. 
So dapat whether we choose homeschooling with a provider or homes or independent homeschooling, we have to prepare the children, our kids, to be able to take PEPT. Ito yung um DepEd school that is equivalency um for them to go to college. Since hindi tayo um nasa traditional setting, um katumba siya ng alternative learning system or ALS. Okay? So yun po yung endpoint natin. Okay, so next. Okay po, Ms. Kia. Um, next po po. Sige ba po? Okay, nasabi na natin. Ayan. So, we are going to um, go with the advantages and disadvantages of homeschooling. So, first, of course, the advantages. So, for the advantages, it actually gives students greater access to education because they are not confined within the four walls of the um purpose of the classroom. The parents can actually teach children life skills that they will need later on in life. So, hindi tayo, um, although uh, doon sa sinabi ko kanina, sa homeschool with a provider, we have a curriculum. But you can actually tweak the curriculum a little bit and um, put in your um, dito, life skill um, topics na gusto mong ituro sa mga anak natin. Okay. Next is, it is more affordable. Madami tayong ma cost cut when we um when we opted to homeschool. First is walang service or if you ride the car, less yung gas kasi nasa bahay lang tayo. Okay? And um the third one, I think for me this is the um the most um important advantage, no? Because it allows students to study at their own pace. So hindi na pressure or less yung peer pressure ng students or ng mga anak natin na makipagsabayan doon sa mga kaklase nila. So, it can actually lead to a greater, to a more academically um, achieved na um, tawag dito, na ating gustong ma makamit. So, hindi, hindi siya nakikipag-compete. Although, there's nothing wrong with healthy competition, but there is less pressure for the part of the students. Okay? Ayun. So, next is as I've said earlier, it helps students to develop valuable skills. So since we are not just we are not just um learning about um textbooks like uh, one plus one, two plus two, math, science, etc. We can actually do um the topics. We can actually teach the topics. It in par with the or in partnership with the um real life situations. For example. Um, science. Um, you're going to, um, you're going to teach your child about um the environment or the ecosystem, for example. You can take them to a nature nature park or outside and actually be, um, be in that moment para doon para mas ma appreciate nila yung learning because there are some students that um hindi nila na appreciate yung sa textbook lang. Mas gusto nila yung nakikita, mas gusto nila yung na-experience nila. Okay, next is, it presents students with fewer distractions. Since um, homeschooling will take, um, take uh, since going to school rather, sorry, it, since going to school will take time, for example, to commute, yung kapunta sa school and then pauwi sa school. So, mas less yung productivity ng mga bata. So, when we opted for homeschooling, one advantage is that there are fewer distractions. We can actually limit the distractions in our home para mas maging productive sila and at the same time, para mas ma-achieve nila yung kanilang mga goals. Okay. Next, of course, when there's an um, advantage, there's also disadvantages. Okay. Um, first, disadvantage is there is no face-to-face -face contact with teachers or lecturers. So since the primary um, teacher will be um, the role of the parents or the caretakers. Um, wala tayong face-to-face -face interaction with um, with teachers. Okay. Next is um, Miss Kia. Next po. Okay. Next. Um, hi. Thank you po. Ayan. So next is there is often minimal interaction with other students. So there is a difference kasi when we say um, homeschooling socialization and school socialization. 
Um, when we say homeschooling social socialization, um, much of the relationship, the rapport building is on the family members and the students. Pag kasi nandun tayo sa traditional school setting, most likely um, the socialization will take place between the teachers, the students, and then other students. However, one important factor then to consider is um, when we are homeschooling, we are actually um, lessening the peer pressure and then we are trying to um, instill values doon sa ating mga anak. Okay. And it also, um, it, it is also proven to be uh, that they are less bullied. Kasi when, when we see some students in the traditional school system or school setting na nabubully, it can hamper or it can hinder the child's learning progress. And then, after the learning progress, mas bumababa yung self-esteem nila. Okay? Next, um, of course, this is one great challenge of homeschooling because it provides very a wide range of options. It also requires high levels of self-discipline. So we have to invest, again, you have to invest time, effort, and commitment when we are going to decide or when we decided to um, homeschool our children. Okay? So next, um, so any questions so far? With um with the first part, okay. So, wala. Okay. So tips for homeschooling, of course. Um, we want the best for our children. So that's a given. Whether it's education wise, whether it's um, um, giving them the a proper place to live or giving the providing them with healthy foods. Same goes with homeschooling or education in general. We wanted to provide the best for our children. So sometimes um we since homeschooling um is a bit new to our um to our education system dapat mas maging ready tayo para mas maging successful yung homeschooling natin. So first tip is identify the type of homeschooling you will use. So nabanggit ko nga kanina there are two types of homeschooling. So identify whether you're going to enroll with the school provider or you're going to try independent homeschooling. Okay. Yun nga, uh, pag sinabi natin homeschool provider, you can choose a lot of homeschool providers. For example, Bibal, they have their home, Smart at Homeschool and the other option. And then there are, other, there are also other schools that use um, homeschooling with the provider. So my, there's a minimal fee that you have to pay for a year, I think for registration fee and then they will give you in return the materials that um the, that they have um prepared okay next um the next option is independent homeschooling just like what we ball pala is um offering so independent homeschooling you are free or you are you have the flexibility to choose what um what topics you want your child to learn okay so next, find a schedule that will work for you and your child. Of course, um, since nasa bahay tayo, may, there are tendencies na hindi, siguro sa mga unang part, hindi natin mapasunod yung mga anak natin or hindi natin um, mahanap yung proper routine that will help us to be more productive in terms of schooling. So finding a schedule that will work for you and your child is one solution. So you have to try out. Um, you can create a routine if you want. For example, when you wake up, uh, you'll wake up at 8 a.m., uh, um, go uh, do your chores, and then by 9 a.m., you'll start the proper school schooling. You can have a, for example, 9 to 10, you, you'll go to reading. 10 to 11 will be, um, will be um, science, 11 to 12, and so on. Okay? So finding a schedule that will work best for you is um, one way of ensuring successful homeschooling. Okay, so next. Set up your child's study area. Uh, this is very important because we wanted to limit the distraction. So um, best way to do this is to have a designated area 
for you and your child to study. Okay? So, it can be in the bedroom, for example, if you have a study area there, or if you have an, a home office or a study room that will work also. Or, of course, then again, this is um this will also be depending on your child. Saan ba siya na-engage or na-entice matuto? Diba? So, if gusto niya sa, um, malapit sa nature, nakikita niya yung araw, yung mga halaman, and then maybe he could um, set up a study area malapit sa window or so on. Okay? And of course, um, dito pala sa set up your child's study area, be, uh, siguro you should um, enforce rules that this area is mostly for studying. So, para mas ma ma-condition yung, yung behavior ng ating anak na pag pumunta ako dito sa area na to, ah, it's time for me to study. It's not time for me to play unless stated otherwise. Or it's not time for me to, to sleep. Diba? So, pag pumunta ako dito, what I will do is to study. Okay? So, next. Um, of course, since we're all new in terms of homeschooling, we have to constantly research and widen our knowledge in terms of homeschooling. Um, this can be done via research, seminars, or watching YouTube videos on um, homeschool um, experiences of other um, people. And then we can also go to um, Homeschool Association of the Philippine Islands or HAPI. So this is a non-stop, non-profit organization that aims to equip homeschooling groups and families um, in the homeschooling movement. So there are actually a lot of um, seminars that will help us to be um, equipped, um, that will help us be equipped in terms of homeschooling. And we could also ask for other experiences of other uh, mommies and daddies or groups, support groups that is about, uh, that experience homeschooling. Because since, um, bago pa lang tayo, we should also expect that we make mistakes along the way. And those mistakes will actually help us in order for us to improve in the next um, succeeding weeks, succeeding months, or years. Okay? So, next. Okay, so, um, I found a blog, um, filipinohomeschooler.com. Um, this blogger actually started homeschooling their children. I think they have four children, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they, um, he started, he or she started a blog, um, on the basics of homeschooling. So this is what I found, and I think this will help. This, this will be very helpful for, uh, for you, um, my dear parents, in terms of, um, starting homeschooling. If ever you do decide, okay. Familiarize yourself with homeschooling terms. So there are a lot of homeschooling terms that we need to familiar, familiarize ourselves with. Okay? So ano, ano ba yung mga homeschooling terms? Um, yun, homeschool. So homeschool is different with um, online learning or e-learning. So those two are different things. We'll discuss that um, later on in the frequently asked questions. Um, another one is curriculum. What is a curriculum? The curriculum is the list of subjects or topics that your child must be able to um, learn. When you do decide for homeschooling with a provider, when you, when you decide to um, go to independent homeschooling, you will be the one to write the curriculum. Okay? This one is, um, the next one is knowing your child's learning styles and, of course, your own teaching methods. This is important. This is the, um, the most important to co things to consider in terms of homeschooling. Ano ba um, yung learning style ng inyong mga anak? Um, in terms of learning style, we have um, different types of learners. We have the visual learner, we have the kinesthetic learner, the audio learner, um, the music, music learner, etc. So once you discover that you, your child is this type of learner, for example, a um, visual learner, your teaching method should be aligned with that. Okay? Para mas um, madali sa kanya, maintindihan, and ma-absorb yung lessons na tinuturo natin. Okay? Yung sinasabi ko naman na homes, um, homeschool 
methods or teaching methods, we actually have seven. So since every family is unique, not everyone has the same homeschooling method or teaching method. So we can go to relax or eclectic and schooling. Um, we can go to Masons or Montessori, etc. So we have to know what best what best fits your method and of course your child's learning style. So mostly, um, ang ginagawa um pinaka popular in terms of homeschooling um methods is relax or eclectic. So meaning to say, it's um it's a combination of um all the different methods so for example we have unschooling we don't have a um a schedule and then the next day we will study this um and the next day we will study another portion using different methods so that's one and then we have what we called as school at home schooling so school at home schooling this is um one of the most primarily portrayed in the media ito yung mga nakikita natin no na school at home um this is um the most expensive type since you enroll yun nga you enroll your kids to a homeschool provider so they give you a they give you materials textbooks um uh study schedules um uh, documents for record keeping etc um, this is also has this also has the highest burnout rate in terms of all the school methods. Why? Because you are actually meeting deadlines. Because when we use school at home homeschooling, um, meet deadlines tayo na sinusunod. Because kailangan natin masubmit yung mga requirements doon sa um sa school kung saan tayo na enroll. Okay. Next is unschooling so unschooling is actually the most natural um of all the methods because um you teach students or you teach your children um based on their interests so for example um you see that they are interested in music so you teach them about music the basics of music how it started etc or for example they are interested in painting you devise a activity um uh, you devise an activity for, for for example for this week in ang interest nila that is solely um focusing on um painting arts etc so walang curriculum um free flowing kapag unschooling yung ginagamit natin okay and unschoolers actually have um they learn from everyday life experiences so they don't rely on textbook they, they rely on their interest and curiosity. Okay, next, decide whether or not you should enroll in homeschool provider or be independent. Yun nga po, yung sinasabi ko kanina, um, identify which learning style or, or, or homeschooling style you wanted to be, uh, we wanted to use for your child. Okay, explore free resources and activities. There are actually a lot of uh, um, free resources online mostly are from the US but you can actually tweak them for um for it to be um tailored fit to the Filipino culture okay connect with support groups ay nga po sinabi ko ulit kanina na kailangan um importanteng parte ng homeschooling is that we are able to share our experiences with other people and then we can get um lessons from their experiences as well so yun and then next is continue learning never stop learning even if you're the one who's going to um teach your child. So, dapat every day nag-learn din tayo. And one one major benefit of homeschooling is that you can actually get to bond with your child. Mas magiging strong yung inyong, um, inyong relationship sa isa't isa. Kasi mas makikilala nyo. And you spend most of your days, most of your time together. Okay? So, next. Okay, so we have um I list down four four um frequently asked questions about um homeschooling. Okay. So first one is um is homeschooling the same with distance learning? No, they're actually different. When we say homeschooling, the primary teacher here or the primary person that will teach 
your your kid is you the parents okay pag when pag naman sinabi natin distance learning ito yung may teacher student relationship pa din pero ang ginagawa kasi sa distance learning is usually ito yung pinapropose ni DepEd ngayon with the new normal that we can um go for modules um we can opt for blended learning or online learning e-learning etc so yun po yung difference nila pag homeschooling ang pinaka um mga pinaka the one who makes decisions about what to teach how to teach it and when to teach it is you when we have when we say distance learning may sinusunod pa rin tayo okay kasi school pa din kumbaga meron pa ring um teacher child teacher student relationship okay what are the modes or types of teaching techniques nabanggit na po natin kanina ito po yung mga um, unschooling um eclectic or relax um school at home type and there are actually a lot more depending on your preferred techniques okay but you can also um do a combination of these different <laughs> techniques okay so what are the requirements for homeschooling so some homeschool providers or um for independent homeschooling uh, for independent homeschooling sometimes um the department of education require at least you're a high school uh, you're a college graduate or college undergraduate so you can teach your um your your kids but again um if you um this the requirements will uh will differ in the when you try to enroll or when you opt to enroll in homeschool homeschooling with providers and independent homeschooling so depende po sa kanilang requirements okay can my child go to college after homeschooling of course um why we why do we do homeschooling diba because we wanted to give primary education to our children so that they can go to college yun yung pinaka main um main agenda natin is for them to to go to college diba so can can they go to college yes all they have to do is to take the Philippine Educational Placement mm -hmm. Test or PEPT. So this is um, almost the same with Alternative Learning System or ALS if you are familiar with ALS. So um, e, for homeschool, for homeschooling with providers, the, um, PEPT is actually um, included in the, in the um, fee that you are paying. Pero for independent homeschoolers, um, you have to check from time to time in in the Department of Education kung ano yung mga requirements na kailangan mo isasubmit. Since when you opt for independent homeschool, homeschooling, wala tayong records like sa mayroong providers, okay? So ano po ba yung PEPT or ALS? This is actually in line with the accreditation and equivalency program of um, of our country. So Executive, that's EO number 733, series of 1981. So, ganun na po katagal ang homeschooling. Early 1900s, meron na homeschooling. Pero ngayon lang po siya nagbuboom since a lot of parents actually wanted to um, be uh, a part of their um, homes, of their child's education. So, which is a good thing kasi um, kailangan tutok tayo sa ating mga anak when we have, uh, when they are start, starting to learn. Okay, so do we have any questions? Okay, so um, we have a few questions from um from Miss Rowena Cruz. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Rowena, Ma'am, may teacher pa po ba sa homeschooling or sa independent learning or kami na po bang parents? So, ayun nga pa, yung sinabi ko kayo na when we are, um, when we, when we, decide to go for homeschooling, the primary teacher will be the parents or kung sino yung kasama nila sa bahay na magtuturo sa kanila. Okay? So, um, yun po, um, wala nang teacher, walang teacher-student relationship pag nag-homeschooling tayo. Um, tayo lang. And then we have homeschool providers that sometimes um, checks or do house visits to see the progress of your children. Pero in terms of teaching and 
in terms of teaching and delivery of lesson, that will be the sole responsibility of the parents. Okay, from Sir Julius Candava. Hello po, working father po ako, single father din po. Happy, adv advance happy Father's Day po. May maisasuggest po ba kayo kung paano po ang gagawin ko? Grade 4 pa lang po ang aking anak. Okay, nasa public school daw po siya. Okay, so ano po ba yung ating concern sa anak natin? Um, do we want to um do we want to enroll them in homeschooling? Um or are we looking for alternatives in terms of the new normal para mapagpatuloy po ang kanilang pag-aaral? Kasi if um from what you said po Sir Julius, you are a working father, so um, may makakasa ang kung mag homeschooling po tayo ang isa natin ko consider may makakasama po ba siya sa bahay na may kakayahan magturo if meron po then then we can actually um, then we can actually go for homeschool if meron naman po tayong kasama sa bahay na um, may kakayahan magturo pero if wala po I suggest that we can um Siguro we can do um, yung sinasabi na ating Department of Education po na alternative or, or, or distance learning. Wherein you get to choose between synchronous learning, asynchronous learning, blended learning. Kung baga, kung online po ba na may kasamang teacher, so they, you, the student will interact with the teacher or pwede pong modular learning. Modular learning po, kayo po mismo ang pupunta sa public school or sa private school, sa po nag-aaral ng ating anak, and kukunin niyo po yung modules na pre-prepared ni teacher. Okay? So, yun po. Um, in terms of deciding po whether what to choose between the two, weigh the options po in terms of, of course, kung, kung kaya niyo po na kayo po mismo magturo, kahit nag-work po kayo, edi mas okay po para mas matutukan po natin yung mga um, anak natin. Pero if hindi naman po, madami po pong ways para mag, mas, para mag continuous yung learning ng ating mga anak kahit po um, nasa gitna tayo ng pandemya. Okay, ma'am. Ano po ang pinagkaiba ng ALS at PEPT? Okay. So, PEPT and ALS, this are um, these are under the accreditation and equivalency program of the Department of Education. So meaning to say, um, meron po tayong, uh, meron po tayong, sumari hindi po tayo, yung ALS po kasi, usually it's for, um, for students or for lifelong learners na tinatawag po natin that they are not able to finish um, finish high school or elementary due to financial incapability or nagtrabaho po muna sila, wala silang formal education. So, ang gagawin po nila doon is sa ILS po, they are going to um, measure the competencies and life skills of those yun nga, takers that have no formal education or elementary or secondary education. So, um, itong assessment po na to, this will um, give them the ability or the a certification that they have completed basic education. Okay? Now, ito pwede nilang gamitin for further education, job promotion, training, and employment. Okay. So, ano po yung differences nila? First one, ang PEPT po or the Philippine Educational Placement Test is administered to all grade or year levels from grade 1 to 4 year high school. Meaning to say, parang ito po ang ating mga admission test para po mag-up sila or mas tumaas po yung level nila. So from grade 1, for example, mag, uh, mag papa PAPT po tayo para masabi natin na pwede na po siya mag-grade 2. Okay. Ang ALS po or the Alternative Learning System test or a, a &E test, is administered only to grade 6 and 4th year high school. So meaning to say, bago ka umalis ng elementary, 
kung gusto mo mag-proceed for um, high school, di ba? And then, dun po sa fourth year high school para magpunta kong college or makapag-apply ka ng trabaho or training. Okay. Um, in terms of the curriculum, PAPT covers the regular depth ed curriculum. So, meaning kasi mayroon tayong English, Math, Science, and Hekasi for elementary and araling panilipunan naman for high school. While um, A&E test or the ALS test is actually um, based on the 21st century skills. So, ano po yung 21st century skills na tinatawag natin? Ito po yung mga communication skills, critical thinking skills, and problem solving. Sustainable use of resources and productivity. Development of self and a sense of um, community and expanding one's world vision. So meaning to say po, um, ang PEPT, ang laman ng exam sa PEPT is solely aligned with the depth ed curriculum. While those, um, um, the items or the, the test items or assessment form for the ALS, a &E test, is based on the 21st century life skills. So, life skills po ang pinagbabasihan natin. Okay? Um, for ALS takers, they have to be enrolled in the ALS program. So, there are schools that are um, offering ALS programs. No? So, they can attend a couple of weeks of um, classroom interaction and then they can take the test. Okay? For the PEPT naman, the, the only, ito, kaya po ito yung nasabi ko kanina para sa ating homeschooling because sa PEPT, pupunta ka lang sa DepEd, register mo and submit mo lahat na requirements na kailangan sa PEPT, um, pumunta kayo during the testing date and then you can take PEPT. You don't need to enroll. Again, you don't need to enroll po in terms of um, formal schooling. Kasi ito usually yung ginagamit natin for homeschooling. Okay? Um, ALS test is only given once a year, okay? So, for those who are not able to take ALS test um, once a year, they have to wait another year for them to take them. However, for the PEPT test, they, it is usually um, once a month. Kasi you, you have the chance to walk in, to go to DepEd, and then apply. For ALS, kasi wala pong walk-in options. You have to enroll first in an ALS accredited school. Okay? Um, kapag naman po pumasa tayo sa ALS, isa din po sa ka kaibihan, kaibahan ng ALS and ng PEPT is yung completion certificate na ibinibigay. Kapag po ALS, ang binibigay po sa atin ay um, certificate of or diploma bearing the Department of Education seal and the signature of the uh, DepEd secretary st stating that they have achieved the competencies. Yung kanina ko po sinabing 21st century competency life skills and they are eligible to graduate. Okay? Pero pag PEPT test po, ito uh, po ay binibigyan lang tayo na certificate of rating. Para po, um, pag nag-enroll tayo, for example, gusto nyo pong i-enroll ulit ang mga bata sa ating primary, ay sa, sa school setting mismo, or gusto po nilang i-enroll ulit sa homeschool, homeschooling, and then from grade 1, gusto nilang maging grade 2. Ito po yung certificate of rating na kailangan natin. Stating that they are eligible to move up to the next grade level. Okay? So, yun. Um, for, and in terms of passing, the passing rate po, no, there's one big difference. Kasi when we take ALS po, um, the passing rate will be the average of all the strands or, or all of sa lahat po, kumari five, five topics po, lahat po yun, tinake nyo. May isa po kayong bagsak. Pero um, ang average nyo po ay pasado. Pasado pa rin po kayo. Unlike sa PEPT, kapag po bumagsak ka sa isang um, sa isang, tao dito, isang subject or isang portion ng test, hindi ka na po mabibigyan ng certificate of rating. Okay? So, yon So, sa PEPT, um, the taker needs to pass all the subjects. Okay? In order for them to 
be eligible to move up the next level. Okay, so ang dami kong pundal-dala, no? Okay, so according po kay Ma'am Maria Chris Sandoval, Thank you po, Ms. Kim. Ma'am, iba pa po ba ang homeschooling sa modular learning na pinapromote ng private schools? Um, okay, when we say modular learning po kasi na pinapromote ng private schools, um, meron pa rin po ang interaction kasi ito po yung tinatawag natin blended learning eh. Di ba? Um, may interaction pa rin po between the teachers and the students. So, kumbaga, once in a while, they'll check in on you and your kid kung nagagawa ba, igagrade nila, i-assess nila. Pag homeschooling po kasi, although there are modules for homeschooling na binibigay ng homeschool providers, pero you have the flexibility to um to teach uh, kung ano po yung gusto yung ituro sa araw na yun. Okay? Kasi po pag modular learning, um may para sa lang may timeline po, pero nagche-check pa din po sa modular learning na pinapromote ng private schools, ay yung teachers. So, technically po, adun pa rin po yung teachers, teacher-student relationship na wala po sa homeschooling. Okay? Uh, according po kay... Okay, wait lang po. According po kay Miss Jenny Engada, we are in Homeschool America Curriculum. If you want to study Philippine curriculum, selected subject only like Filipino and Araling Panlipunan only and wanted and what it credited in our LRN with DepEd, what should we do? Okay po, if you are enrolled in America curriculum po, that um, based on the research that I have read po, um, that is, that will fall under independent homeschool learning po. Since you opted to enroll your child in a curriculum that is outside the Philippines. So if you wanted to study Philippine curriculum po, yes, you may do so. And you may, um, you can, you can actually um, go to the DepEd po and see the requirements po for the crediting sa inyong LRN. Okay? Okay, sir, Noel Valerio po, what about po yung printed materials or modules? May schedule po bang ibibigay at gaano po kadalas? Okay, Sir Noel, if, for example, you do decide to enroll in homeschool providers po, homeschooling with providers, so accredited po ni DepEd, they have a schedule that you have to follow. Pero flexible pa rin po yun, hindi siya um, as long as you meet the deadline for the school year, if I'm not mistaken. Dep again, this is depending on the um, process of the homeschool provider po. Pero yes, meron pong binibigay na printed materials kasama po yun sa inyong binayaran. According kay Ma'am, ano po ba ito? Amabel? Amabel Petal Corin. How many hours po ba sa homeschooling? Okay. Um, one fun factor in homeschooling is that you decide on the hours that you're going to spend in homeschooling. Okay? So if you wanted to, and again, this, is, this, will, this will always depend po in how you are, in what type of teaching style or methods you're going to um, use. So, pwede po na five hours a day lang kayo. If you want, you can do two hours a day. Depende po sa inyong pangailangan and sa, um, again, you, uh, whatever you, seem, you deem fit po that will help you or that you see will work out for you and your child um, you can adopt po. So, wala naman pong hours. Uh, wala naman pong hours in terms of um, required hours. So, kayo pa rin po yung um, masusunod. Okay? Uh, from Mom Marian. Uh, Mom Marian Menor, yes. Ma'am, how much it costs for homeschooling with provider for primary level? Okay po. Um... Again, depende po sa school. Pero it's, uh, it's much cheaper than going to some private schools po. Okay. So, um, there are DepEd accredited homeschool providers um, that have their um, fees online po. So, for example, I'll give you an example. Um, 
we have homeschool global okay homeschool global um they have and you can also um for homeschool providers po pala homeschooling with providers you can actually choose what type of what type of curriculum po that that you will um, enroll your child kasi may iba't ibang klase ng curriculum po and those curriculum are customizable um on what you want your child to learn okay so how much po ang homeschooling sa Philippines so roughly um meron po tayong tinatawag na program fee um curriculum materials fee testing fee or other fees that um that comes with the school pero um most likely po siguro nasa I'm not really sure on the the estimated on the exact po so I'll give you an estimate between 25 to 35,000 po siguro including the materials na din okay so from Ma'am Tess Renee Kabatan in private school po basa using blended learning saan po manggagaling ang modules is it from the DepEd or ang private teachers po ang gagawa thank you po okay so Ma'am Tess um, sa sinasabi ni DepEd na blended learning po, yung modules po ay manggagal, depende po sa um, learning continuity plan na tinatawag po natin. Um, ito po ay magiging um, collaboration, collaborative effort po ito na Department of Education since doon po tayo kukuha ng mga curriculum natin and of course ng private teachers po. So, um, collaborative effort po ito ng DepEd and ng schools. Hindi lang po private, pati po public schools. Okay? So, yun po. So, do we have more questions po? Okay, Roel, Sebastian. Ma'am, may homeschooling daw po si Bagbal. Yes po. Meron po. So si Miss Kia po ang magdi-discuss, si Miss Kia na de Castro po ang magdi-discuss niyan para po mas ma-inform kayo kung ano po yung process ni Vival in terms of homeschooling. Yan. So thank you po for listening and thank you for taking the time to join us in our webinar regarding homeschooling. So Miss Kia na Thank you very much po, Miss Kim, for this very fruitful session that you had with us. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. Ayan, in behalf of Vibal Group Incorporated, we would like to thank you for this session, ma'am, for the first session of Smart Homeschool Conference. Ayan po. Then, ma'am, of course, before po tayo matapos, babalikan ko lang po yung question ni Sir Rowell. Ayan po, Sir Rowell. So, Vibal Group Incorporated offers you Smart Homeschool. Si Smart Homeschool po ay isa po ito sa aming product that is catering po ito po ay materials that will be used for the homeschool. So si Vival po ay hindi po kami provider katulad nga po ng binanggit ni Kim, we are not providers ng homeschooling. But then we would be offering independent homeschool materials and we are calling that po ang ating happy homeschool which would be oriented to most of our clients and the other parents or interested parties sometime soonest po. So sana po during this time while we are having our smart homeschool conference, we would be also orienting you about this product. So once again po, Ms. Kim, maraming maraming salamat and to all our Thank you, po. Uh, po, to all our viewers for this afternoon. Thank you very much and have a great day. Have a great day, Paul.